The mental math lesson is introduced using a real world scenario. And there's something that I love to do. And I don't know if you've ever done this before, but how many of you have ever ridden a horse? Has anyone here ever ridden a horse? Yeah. I, this course is encouraged to make personal yeah, connections and increased interest. The students are then introduced to the problem. Well, the, the prices of the, of the horseback riding was, it was $18 for children, which is a little pricey, but you know, it's kind of expensive. And then it was $32 for adults. So I was thinking in my head, and I didn't really want to stop my car and uh, you know, add it up or get out my calculator, my, my phone or anything. I'm just thinking in my head how much that's going to be. They are encouraged to silently think of multiple strategies to arrive at a solution for about one minute. During think time, the pencils are down. After think time, students write out their strategies and share with their partner or group. I did circles here, and uh, there's 18 plus 32. As students share, the teacher conducts formative assessments by circulating throughout the room, examining strategies being demonstrated by the students. During this time, the teacher also chooses three students to share their strategies with the whole class on chart paper. Students then engage in the process of math discourse as they compare and contrast various strategies. During this phase, the teacher may also facilitate discourse with additional questioning or labeling the strategies with specific math vocabulary. What, what is that called when you're, you're breaking the hundreds and the tens and then leftovers? Okay, so you're using place value to solve your problem? Okay. In closing, the teacher reviews the strategies that were used to solve the problem. Um, Michelle, you said that this strategy was called what? Using what? Place value. Reinforcing that many strategies may be used to solve problems mentally. Did all of you have different ways that you solved it? Yes. yes. Could we have ten different ways to solve it up here? Yes. yes.